What's up guys, Dan here out here in the middle of Norway. Uh, literally just drove through a fjord. If you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty awesome. Search it up on like Google Images or something. But right now, uh, at the top of the fjord, in the middle of Norway, driving through a glacier, and uh, I'm continuing my travels here. So I'm actually uh, making my way back to the Oslo airport right now, and I'm flying back home to Canada, where I'm gonna be spending the summer in Vancouver, BC. But um, I just wanted to show you guys this. It's pretty insane. Like the places that passive income and online business and entrepreneurship, you know, the places that I've seen doing what I do and really going out there alone and starting an online business and finding my purpose has brought me to places like this. So today I wanted to make a video about finding your purpose and traveling the world and seeing the world has really opened up my eyes to you know, the mentality. Seeing Norway and traveling the country, I got to really understand, you know, what the mentality of the people here uh, is. Actually, if you didn't know, Norway is considered the number one happiest place in the world. And it is one of the richest countries in the world um, based on, I think, per capita or something like that. But basically, you know, everybody here has, uh, has a good life and everybody here has money and nobody is kind of like homeless or anything like that. But what I've noticed is that because everybody has it so well, um, there's actually no real drive to pursue entrepreneurship, to change the world, to go out there and provide the world and give the world your gift and your strength and really give it your all, right? Because everybody's so comfortable here. You know, if I was talking about, you know, the traditional way of life, the nine to five, that's also embedded in Canada and USA, you know, everybody's, you know, pushed to go to school, pushed to get a regular, you know, bank job or a regular nine to five office job, you know, work until 65. We all know the story. Well, I never knew this, but here in Norway, talking to people, it's even more, like it's literally like five times or 10 times more pushed onto people. In fact, kids, before they go to high school, kids are forced to choose their whole life career, right? And I can tell you that at 15, 16 years old, I had no idea that I was gonna become an entrepreneur. I didn't even know what entrepreneurship was, right? So it's pretty insane. So one thing that I've noticed is that because people have such a good life here, there is no real push to succeed. There's no real push to pursue entrepreneurship or to even start any kind of business, right? So I tested this and I literally asked people, I'm like, you know, what's your number one dream in life? What's your purpose in life? And every single person that I've asked told me, you know, they didn't know. They didn't know what the purpose was. It was, you know, to go to school. Either they were already in college. They were kind of like my age. So, you know, they were already in college, go to school, get a job kind of thing, you know, live a good, happy life. And that's what we're going to get in Norway. You will get that, but there's no real purpose. So that's that's why it is incredibly important to find your purpose because if you don't have a purpose then you're not living your life to the fullest potential entrepreneurship has given me a purpose entrepreneurship has you know completely changed my life obviously you know if you guys have been watching my videos you've kind of followed along with my journey and so the point of this video is is that I want to help you guys find your purpose and I want to show you guys that your purpose in life you know as long as it's serving others and helping others you know creating value for other people and playing on your strengths building businesses that play on your strengths let's say you're good at communication let's say you're good at talking and you're good in front of the camera then for example example, start a YouTube channel, right? Let's say you're good at negotiation, then, you know, start Amazon FBA because obviously you're going to need to negotiate with uh, Chinese suppliers, right? So maybe a lot of you are in your comfort zone right now and you don't really know what your purpose is in life. And let me tell you, that's when it's incredibly important to figure out your purpose. And you know, you never know what your actual purpose is. Like, you know, you're always gonna ask yourself, is this what I'm meant to be doing with my life? Well, let me tell you, you're never gonna actually figure it out. You have to decide on what your purpose is. You have to, you know, create a purpose for yourself, right? So for me, started Amazon FBA, started YouTube, right? So, you know, my purpose became to become an entrepreneur that's known worldwide, that spreads the message of passive income, that shows people that if a 22 year old who dropped out of college can do it, who started completely broke cleaning windows, then literally anyone can. The best way to find your purpose is, you know, first of all, figure out your strengths. What are you good at? There are tests out there, like this, you know, the Clifton Strengths Finder. That's one of them. It costs, you know, I think like $20 or something like that. And there's a book with it. So that's one of them that I took. And, uh, you know, for me, it was entrepreneurship and like futuristic and stuff like that. I'm not going to tell you all of it. I don't remember from the top of my head. But, you know, your best investment is in yourself, right? Always be investing in yourself. People mostly invest in things that rust, rot, and depreciate, right? You know, for example, you know, people invest in, you know, going out to the bar or alcohol or stuff like that. Well, if you used all that money that you, you know, spent on, you know, consuming crap like, you know, expensive clothes and alcohol and going out and you put that money into investing in yourself and figuring out your purpose, for example, traveling, that's investing in yourself, right? Me being here has made me realize tremendous things about myself, like huge things about myself that if I didn't have that push back in Canada and the USA to succeed and to really find my purpose, maybe if I had grown up in Norway in a country where everything is so perfect and you know everybody has money, nobody is kind of like out on the street and everybody has a comfortable life, then I wouldn't be where I am today. So the number one thing is to pursue entrepreneurship and internet entrepreneurship because it's 2018 and you know starting an online business is basically plugging into the internet where you can you know you're running a business that people are able to purchase from you 24 7 right so obviously scalability right do not try to open you know like a store or anything like that right so we've got that straight online entrepreneurship this is what this channel is about so online business all right and now how do you actually find that business 
to start, right? Figure out what your strengths are, figure out how you can combine your strengths and your passion to best help people and do it. As long as you serve other people, you will gain back in your life 10 times, right? Me serving people through my online businesses has allowed me to, you know, see this. I've never would have thought in my entire life that I would see this. This actually wasn't planned at all. I was just driving. You know, I came down from the fjord. It looked completely different than this. It was like grass and, you know, mountains and stuff like that and rivers and lakes. And then coming up here, it's just like, it's crazy. It's like desolate. It's like out of this world. It's like another planet. Another thing that I've noticed is that a lot of people that I met here on my travels and here actually in Norway, I met a lot of Europeans and, you know, people that are just traveling without a purpose and they're trying to figure themselves out. And that might be good. Travel is definitely amazing. But the thing is, is that if you just endlessly travel, you know, with an empty purpose, with no, no real reason just to, you know, jump from country to country and you don't have an actual real purpose in your life where you're combining your strengths and your passions to help other people, then it's literally empty travel. And what I've realized is that a lot of these people are trying to run away from their problems and then trying to, you know, maybe show up in a country and, you know, maybe wealth will find them or something, you know, a new business is gonna fall on their head and suddenly they're gonna get rich or something like that. The thing is, is that it might work and it might really, really benefit you. You know, travel is amazing to really find out, you know, things about yourself. But you have to be out there. You have to be putting yourself out there, reading the books, studying the minds of successful people, studying the minds of millionaires and billionaires, and setting goals for yourself. And also, a lot of these people are not at a baseline income. What a baseline income is, is for example, $5,000 or $10,000 or $20,000 a month from an online passive income stream that might not be your you know, real purpose uh, to say or like your real uh, passion in life. For example, an Amazon FBA business, right? But at least that gives you the opportunity and the time and the freedom to travel and really find out your bigger purpose, right? You have to put yourself out there and luck will find you. It's not just gonna fall on your head one day. So I got a couple hours left until the Oslo airport here where I'm gonna fly back to Canada and I'm really gonna 10X the channel. And also I came up with a genius business idea because now I'm at the point of my entrepreneurial journey where I'm looking to start something huge and it might not be online actually and I'm not gonna say what it is. So yeah, so I'm literally rushing to get back to Canada right now to start working on that new business idea like on the side. And obviously, you know, YouTube and Amazon FBA and the Amazon Freedom Course and you know, showing people the way, showing people the way to freedom and showing people, you know, how it is possible to actually live a great life and a life to your fullest potential through passive income and through Amazon FBA remains my number one priority. So anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought this was an absolutely amazing backdrop to a video. Check it out. It's like, it's just insane. Like, it, it's just crazy. And you know what? I wish this for every single one of you. I wish for you guys to be mind blown by your life, by how epic your life is everywhere you go and every single day of your life. So anyway, guys, go out there, at least start that first online business. You know, if you guys are interested in Amazon FBA, of course, then, you know, keep watching the videos on my channel. Got a ton of Amazon FBA content. But guys, life is not worth living if you're not helping others if you don't have a purpose or else there's no point to live. What's the point? So anyway, guys, I hope this video finds you well. If you guys are interested in online business passive income, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon.